Here's how to make an interlibrary loan request at the University of Saskatchewan Library. After you've searched the library's website and are sure that we don't already own the item or have access to the article that you need, you're welcome to make a request through Interlibrary Loans, or ILL. ILL is part of the same unit that does book chapter and article scanning. To find their home page, click on Use the Library, then in the drop-down menu, choose Interlibrary Loan and Scan Request. There are two ways to create requests. The first and easiest way to request an item is to find a citation in either USearch or Google Scholar, and use that to auto-populate the request form. If you come across an item in USearch that says no full text online, click the record, choose how to get it, then click the Go button next to request it from another library. When you come across an article in Google Scholar that is not available through USASC, click the double arrows to show more options under the citation, then choose Find it at USASC. This will take you to the same page as USearch. To use Google Scholar to make requests, you'll first need to set it up to show USASC materials. Instructions for that can be found through our website under Use the Library, then Connect from Home. For both USearch and Google Scholar, once you click Go, you'll be taken to the Request page. Log in with your USASC NSID and password if you haven't already, and the citation information will be auto-filled. If you already have the complete citation information for the item you want, the second method of submitting a request may be quicker. From the Interlibrary Loan and Scan Request homepage, click on Create or Track a Request, then choose one of the options under Add Request on the left side to generate a blank request form. Fill in all the required fields, any information you have in the additional fields, and choose a pickup location if you're requesting a physical item. The more details you provide, the easier it is for us to find your item. It is particularly helpful to include the ISBN or ISSN to make searching more accurate. If there's any additional information that you want to include, such as clarifying information about your request, there is space to do so in the Patron Notes field. Be aware that if you are requesting an article from a foreign language publication, that article will most likely be delivered to you in the original language. Finally, carefully read and check the required box agreeing to abide by the Canadian Copyright Act or restrictions placed by the Lending Library. Then click Submit at the bottom of the page. A pop-up will say your request was successful and will show your request number. You'll also receive an email confirmation. You can track the status of your requests, cancel open requests, or contact ILL staff through the options in the left side navigation menu. You can access this page easily again through the Interlibrary Loan and Scan Request homepage. You will be notified through your USASC email account when your item is ready. If you requested a book loan, follow the instructions in the email to pick it up at the location you chose when making the request. If you requested an electronic copy, follow the link in the email and log in, if prompted, to be taken to the article. You should then download or print the PDF, as the article would disappear from your account within 10 days of opening it, or after viewing it three times. If you live in Canada, are a current student, staff, or faculty, and prefer to have your book loan mailed to you, make sure you're registered with our Distance and Distributed Library Services. You can register from the library's website by clicking Use the Library, Distance and Distributed Library Services, and register for DDLS. Now when you request a physical item, select Distance and Distributed Library Services as your pickup location. If you forget to choose this as your pickup location, you can also contact us and we'll make sure it gets to you. If you still have questions about our Interlibrary Loan service, please check out the FAQ section on the Interlibrary Loan and Scan Request homepage, or feel free to contact us by email, phone, or ask us chat. Thanks for watching.